I'm 30 minutes early for fishing, so let's talk. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman, and today I want to talk about something that I've mentioned a couple times but haven't really explained, and that's be your own angler. That can mean a few different things, but I think basically what I'm trying to say is think for yourself. You don't have to do what everyone else is doing to be a successful angler or just to have a good time. I think a good example of that is the herd mentality. Say you're driving up a river and there's a bunch of pull pull-offs, empty, 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 and then there's six cars in one spot. That's because somebody was fishing there, somebody else was driving by, and they were like, oh, there's someone fishing there. That's probably a good spot. I'll pull over and fish here too. I see that all the time, and I will never understand what these people are thinking. First of all, they're probably encroaching on someone else that is fishing, and secondly, you know the best place to fish, in my opinion? Somewhere where there's no other people fishing. When I see someone at a spot, that's a clue for me to keep driving, not stop and fish there. Think for yourself. And don't be afraid to try things that are new or different or that might seem silly. Do you want to fish a streamer during a dry fly hatch? Go for it. It works. How about the guy that came up with the booby fly? He was thinking outside of the box. And again, it works. I have no idea why, but fish eat these things. Did you know people are catching permit on gurglers? I bet most of you didn't even realize that could be a thing. Well, it's a thing. Think for yourself. Oh, it's springtime right now. Everyone's crazy for tarpon. You know what else is really good in the spring? Warm water fishing of all kinds. Carp fishing is going off right now. It's been the springtime of bass for Ben. Trust me, you don't want any part of that Keys nonsense anyway, man. Think for yourself and try new and different things. I bet a lot of you that are watching do pretty much the same thing every time you go fishing. You go to the same place, fish the same holes with the same flies and just do the same thing every time. It's your comfort zone. I get it. It works for you. You're catching fish, but you're robbing yourself of new experiences and knowledge. Get out of your comfort zone. It will make you a more well-rounded and better angler. Think for yourself. You don't have to do what everyone else is doing. Ignore Instagram. You don't have to tea kettle your fish. You don't have to do the parrot with your rod. Think for yourself self. Do what you want to do. Speaking of Instagram, do you hate follow anyone following an angler just to see what stupid shenanigans they're up to lately? Do yourself a favor and unfollow that person. You will be happier for it. Don't worry about what they are doing. Think about what you are doing and how you can make your experiences better or more successful or more fun or whatever it is that you're looking for. Think for yourself in fishing. Okay, I think that was a pretty decent rant. It's 7.30 in the morning and my heart rate is elevated. I'm gonna go rig up some rods now and wait for my buddy and we're gonna do some fishing. Thanks for watching another one of my huge fly fishing videos. I'll be back as soon as I can with another video about fly fishing for you. Until then, don't be late for fishing and stay huge. I couldn't sleep, man. I woke up like an hour early, left the house like an hour early. <laughs> I think I'm excited to go fishing today. All right, let's do it.